was the bearing on the top half of the rod. Playmakers. Okay. Auto marvelous, kind of this spinning, man at the coop, mine with no tennis, chop out the top, hit it the limit. I got some What's up y'all? Trey B Dippin in the building. You know what time it is. So uh for those of you who saw the last video um on my last pass essentially i um hurt the motor some type of way originally i thought it was the oil pump um i was pretty positive it was the oil pump because the car was still running actually very smooth um even after the fact and it started up perfectly fine it just didn't have any oil pressure and i just i know that the weak link for the H series and the F20B is just which is really just pretty much the D-stroke H22. Um, the major issue at high horsepower, one of the weak links I see is the oil pump. They fail. Um, it's not the oil pump, unfortunately. <laughs> so let's get into it. I'll show you what's going on. So this is about maybe two weeks after um, the last track date. Uh, as you can see, I've already um, dug into the project. I kind of just wanted to dive into it um, and see what was really going on. Um, this is the oil pump that was in there. I was expecting to see a shattered gear or something super obvious, but unfortunately, it looks perfectly fine almost. Um, these are the gears. They seem fine for the most part. I didn't see anything like super obvious um wrong with either one of them um i even pulled the spring check the spring spring is fine so honestly I, I can't i mean unless something else internally is messed up that i can't see or get to the pump actually looks pretty good i mean i actually have a, a bunch of extra oil pumps laying around so this one is was going to be for the other motor for the other prelude but i'm just going to use it for now and i actually have a, a ported a ported one coming but i didn't want to wait on it because this i haven't even got confirmation that they've started on it yet i did get the billet gear um but i'm not going to worry about putting the billet gear in any of these because i'm just going to put it in that oil pump and if for some reason like this oil pump goes and i'll have that souped up one but um again once i saw that the that the uh, oil pump was good. I started digging a little further and there was copper inside the oil pan. And the only thing that I knew had copper in it that's in my motor is the main bearings. And um, it did indeed fry the main bearings. So some of them are a lot worse than others, but let me show you. Uh, I had one. I must have. I do with it. One of these is. Oh, here we go. Get this one. Woo. So all that copper that I was seeing, or what looked to be copper, is definitely from the main bearings. I can't 100% say what happened. Um. This wasn't the first motor that I ever put together, so it could have been as simple as the uh, clearances weren't what they needed to be. Maybe they were a little too tight, and just maybe at the higher horsepower range, long term, it just wasn't uh, wasn't where it needed to be. <laughs> so um, I actually called up to the boys up at KS Tune, and they hooked me up with some. Uh, some ACL uh, bearings with uh, these are the extra clearance ones. I explained to him kind of what happened. He said that, uh, you know, definitely go back and plastic gauge and double check the clearances. But um, he said that he thinks that I would benefit from having the uh, the ones with more clearance. So I got I do have new rod and man bearings. Um, one thing that I kind of wanted to show you guys, because I know it's not a common thing, but I, I wanted to show you what I'm doing. I, I honestly definitely wouldn't recommend it. But I do want to at least show you guys what I'm doing. So you probably noticed that the motor is still in the car and I got the bearings out. Um, obviously, the bearing comes in two parts. One is on the rod, I meant the uh, the girdle caps. And the other ones would actually still be in the motor. 
Um, and so what I actually did was I actually, uh, <laughs> see, I'm a, actually, I'm a, I'm a viewer of the Boosted Boys. And I remember when, when their oil pump and stuff and their bearings went out on theirs, they actually were able to uh, push the bearings out. Um, and then essentially, uh, scoot it all the way up and around and get them out and that's essentially what i did i used the pick tool i don't know where it's at oh here we go so i used this pick tool and i kind of grind it down grinded it down a little bit and make it more flat kind of use this to kind of carefully tap it i 100 percent do not recommend doing any of those things um i just did it because I was at a point where I didn't have, I don't have the time to pull the motor and really take it all the way apart. Um, the crank is okay. I mean, it probably does need to be taken out and like polished and all that other good stuff. But honestly, I'm at like a send it stage right now. And the only one that has significant damage to me is this side I and mean, it's still smooth but when you scratch across it this is the only one you can kind of feel anything but again i'm not taking it out i'll show you guys why here in a second but um but yeah so i'm pretty much gonna throw the new main bearings in there i'm gonna change the rod bearings too while i'm at it this one did get discolored so this is why i did order the the rod bearings too i mean this looks like it's from heat from lack of oil like just friction the rest of them look normal uh yeah the rest of them look normal this is the only one that kind of discolored so i'm expecting some <laughs> major that da damage is at least with the uh at least with the, the bearings on this one so we'll we'll check it get it swapped out and uh yeah i'm literally gonna send it put it back together put the other oil pump back on and yeah let it let it eat or blow up one or two i know a couple of y'all probably like damn why he might as well just take the whole motor out and do it the right way that's the motor for the other prelude which i'll i'll probably be uh starting on that soon for those of you i got a couple of people asking about it but the reason why i'm kind of in send it mode is because i actually picked this up the other day um uh yeah, this is a fully built H22 A4. Rods, pistons, closed deck, fully built head, inline pro cam gears, 1320 balance shaft delete kit. It's like literally good for a thousand horsepower. So this came up for sale recently. Um, one, he's actually a viewer of the channel too, which is pretty dope. I hit him up and actually I was only gonna hit him up about getting the cam gears, the inline pro cam gears, which I'm pretty sure they don't make those anymore. They're kind of rare, hard to find. Um, and I made an offer on the whole uh, block. But yeah, so basically pretty much fully built, ready to go. Re he's the, the guy, uh, shout out to Marshall. Uh, like I said, he's a viewer of the channel. Um, he said that the short block was basically um worked on by inline pro themselves and he said it's good for 800 plus which to me that means all the beans <laughs> i'm assuming this, this will hold a thousand easy um i would never expect to push a thousand but the reason kind of why i'm in send it mode with the motor that's in the car is because if all else fail fails then i can put the monster in there and uh yeah so it's pretty much where I'm at with it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm pretty frustrated uh, because it's like, you wouldn't expect something to go wrong so early. And like, I've only been to the track twice and already like got, I was expecting if anything, like some axles or something simple like that. I wouldn't expect like the, I would fry the main bearings and the rod bearings like second day at the track. Like that's kind of a, uh, I know it's part of the game, but realistically, it's not a track. It's not a true race car. It's not a, just a street car. And this was kind of the reason why I didn't want to buy slicks because I knew I was going to go down this road. But 
it's a learning process. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get the bearings in and see if we can't get this thing fired up. This was the one that was discolored. And sure enough, <laughs> this was the bearing on the top half of the rod. So, yeah. <laughs> this has got to be the cleanest. Oh, yeah. Got my joint engraved, boy. It's like my, <laughs> the machine shop uh, marked the crank when I was originally putting it together. When they first uh, polished it and all that. Forgot that was there. It's kind of cool. But yeah, man, this has got to be the cleanest blown motor you've ever seen. Well, not blown motor, but you you know what I'm saying. I'm surprised. It's been like two years, bro. It's like spotless. All right, well, this is like the next day, pretty much. Um, me and my man Kato in this joint, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the only thing I had left to do, essentially, was kind of put the timing belt on and button up the stuff that I took apart. And... It's pretty much all the way back together now and i got uh got the the oil i think flowing it's primed up at least i, start, I cranked it over with no fuel so they can you know get the oil moving so i guess we'll see if uh see what's cracking perfect hey so there you have it um, right, hit the Carlton on them. <laughs> but yeah, so, I mean, you guys saw it started right up. I actually have higher uh, oil pressure now than I've ever had. Um, it reads like 82-ish, when before the highest I ever saw was like 72 to 75 PSI. So, um, obviously I wanna let it run, but I'm inside the shop, I don't wanna, uh, as good as uh, that corn oil smells, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to smell it in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, I can't say that I'm ready to hit the track immediately again, but um, I probably am just gonna try to break it in. I do have some like residual pieces of like copper from the uh, the old bearings frying up. So I do need to drive it around a little bit and then change the oil real quick. Um, outside of that, man, that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I didn't show much, but you know, anytime I go through something, you guys are gonna be right there with me. So uh, appreciate y'all watching. Uh, hit that like button. And if you knew, you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that. Smash and I see you guys on the next one. <laughs>